Welcome back to my channel, Margaret Knob Designs, and welcome to the video today, Smash Our Stash. This is a collaboration uh, with several other crafters, sponsored by um, Bourbon Creek Crafts, and um, we are doing uh, special videos each month. Uh, some months have themes and some months don't. This month was flowers. So for my um, collaboration this month, I um, used a few of my flowers. Um, I, I don't have an overabundance of flowers and I don't have uh, really too many that I don't or won't use. So um, at this point I, I have it for my uh, my mini albums that I do and other projects that I do. So what I kind of challenge myself to do is to make a few things that um, I can smash <laughs> or use up. And uh, one of the things is, is that there's a monthly kit that I've had for a little while and um, I didn't use it up. The other thing was is there's a couple flowers that I had gotten um, as a gift a while ago that they're not really necessarily my style of flower to use so I thought I would try to use them and um, uh, use them for some cards so that's what I did um, these were the first cards that I made this month these were out of a, a kit that I had bought and these little flowers came in the kit along with the papers and the insides are just plain these are on a craft um, craft card and then um, I'm I'm not sure um, where this specifically came from I believe it came from uh, Brutus Monroe um, glitter paper but again this is a kit that I had from a long time ago and um, uh, I I'm not sure where everything came from and this was the stamp set that was in the kit and um, actually you know what no this stamp set might have been from a different different kit that I have. And actually, oh no, it's from the kit. Um, yeah, Scrapping for Less, it was. It's not available any longer, but it's the Happy Fall, y'all. And um, these came in the little kits. So that's where that came from. And then... Um, this card, I did the same thing. I put two of the flowers together to make this stand out a little bit more. I did a die cut doily in the back. I um, had some, uh, this piece left over actually from an embossing folder I had done for something else and used some uh, colored paper or double layered on that. And these are some of my uh, gems from um, Queen and Company. And then my love from Lizzie Pilafs, and again, just plain on the inside, just making some pretty fall cards. But I had these uh, purple flowers from the kit that I thought just make them into more of a purple theme. And then these cards here, um, I'm actually working on these cards for another gift set uh, for uh, a friend or to give away. And um, the paper that is here is uh, one of the new paper lines from Country Craft Creations. Uh, this is her um, um, pink Christmas set. Oh my gosh, I can't even think of the name of it right now. I'm so sorry, but it's brand new and it should be in the store if you're interested in it. But the um, flowers that I wanted to use up were these little felt flowers, so I added them to uh, my card. I took one of the cut apart and popped it up on, on uh, a piece of the cardstock and foam tape. These are Queen and Company gems. These are as well. And um, inside I just have it plain in there. And then I have some envelopes. I'm going to be putting these in a box card set. And then this is another one of those um, pieces of paper. And this is an off of the 8x8 eight eight, um, collection kit. And uh, that I used for the, for these cards. They're pretty flat as far as the cards go, and um, wanted to make them simple. But again, these were a couple of the flowers that I wanted to use up. Um, not necessarily my style, but I thought it went well with the snowy design of uh, this card. And um, the snowflakes themselves were from some die cuts from uh, Queen and Company as well. And then the last card that I did, 
Um, this is a quick, quick uh, video today. Um, I used some of the, there's a piece of the pattern paper that has this church and this home and um, I just put a piece of, or one of Love from Lizzie's peel-offs on the bottom to kind of make it look like sparkling snow on the bottom. I used one of the small doily uh, die cuts and those die cuts are from, they are from um, Jaded Blossoms and they have uh, die cuts that will cut out three different, this is just two of them, but this is cut out three different sizes of doilies and um, so I just cut out a few of them. I believe this is the medium sized one, so they have small, medium and large and then popped up one of the um, cut aparts on here. These are Prima, no these are scrapbook.com uh, um, gems. Oh my goodness, not scrapbook.com, I'm sorry, they're from Spellbinders. I apologize. And um, then these are a couple of those uh, florals that I used for this card. And I just put a piece of uh, pattern paper on the inside of that card. But I thought it was just beautiful with that scene and just filled that in. I have another stamp that I'm going to put to the inside of this. Uh, it's a, called City Sidewalks, or it says something about the sidewalks being filled. So those are my projects for this month. Um, nothing too earth shattering, but I thought they turned out pretty for the couple different seasons that uh, we're in right now. And um, just to note, there are other collaborators that are down in the description box. So hop along, follow them. Uh, there's some awesome crafters and there's some crafters in there that have done some really great projects. Uh, for this um, collaboration this month. Thank you so much, and I um, look forward to seeing you next month. Have a, have a good month. Thank you.